Hello there amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new epic Star Trek topic video for today. So for this video I want to break down some Star Trek news that has come out over the weekends and that is of course we are getting a fourth season to Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I absolutely absolutely am filled with a lot of joy for this because I love Strange New Worlds. It's definitely the best modern Trek so, t so far to date. And you're probably going, what do you mean by that? Well, we are in a new era of Star Trek, which basically began in 2017 up until now with Discovery, and then it went to Picard, then Lower Decks, then Strange, Strange New Worlds, Short Treks, you know, and bloody, bloody, blah. And of course, we got Prodigy. But we are getting a fourth season to Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Now, Strange New Worlds, it's brilliant. It's amazing. I absolutely love the two seasons that we've got. Really, I'm really so pumped and excited for the third season, which is currently filming. But to get a fourth season while they actually are filming their third season, fantastic. Just brilliant and pure fantastic. And I cannot wait. I love see Strange New Worlds. It's absolutely brilliant and fantastic. I really love the whole cast. I really love the crew, and I love the Enterprise itself. The Enterprise looks so much better in Strange Worlds than it does for the original series. Not for the films, because I love the Enterprise refit in the films, but I love this version of the Enterprise that's in Strange New Worlds. And then, of course, we had the sad news that Lower Decks is going to end with its fifth and final season. Now, I know there's a few family members that doesn't really get into Lower Decks, like my Uncle Tim or my dad, but I absolutely love lower decks i get every single reference they throw in it for the episodes of past star trek i mean we get references from all of star trek from enterprise we have the we have callbacks to the original series to the animated series in it we have callbacks to tng ds9 voyager especially with voyager making an episode having an episode in lower decks where, where they have to get to Earth because it's becoming a museum before it goes to the fleet museum and of course we do return to the outpost of deep space nine in season three which is just something i absolutely love but to end with a fifth and final season i'm really really good because i was actually hoping this season goes on this series goes on for Another two, three seasons, you know. I absolutely love Lower Decks. I love the whole crew. Boiler is absolutely my favourite character because he's just absolutely brilliant. So I do like Boiler. Mariner, I do like her. She's absolutely not a typical Star Starfleet ensign, now a commander. I know they got promoted in season four where basically they're not ensigns anymore. So they get after the little lower Lower Decks and they have their own quarters. But I would love to see it become another spin-off. So instead of it being called Star Trek Lower Decks, call it Star Trek Surrey. Cerritos or something like that the USS Cerritos call it something like that Star Trek Cerritos and have it carry on where Lower Deck started from or where Lower Deck ends and then have them because I would love to see what happens to Boiler, Mariner, Tendi and Winifred I would love to see what happens to them and then basically have to get their own ship so yeah I'm a little bit disappointed that Strange New World um Lower Decks is ending, but again, I absolutely love Strange New World, so I am happy about that, and I'm a little bit disappointed that Strange uh, Lower Decks is ending. But this is something I kind of want to talk about. We are now getting a Star Trek prequel to Star Trek 2009 reboot film starring Chris Pine as Captain Kirk. Do we really need another prequel? Well... I would have so many ideas what I would like to see from this film. But again, I don't think it's actually going to go the way I want it to go. So, for this film, I kind of want the NX-01 Enterprise to return. And the crew, like with Captain Archer, to Paul, Malcolm Reed, you know, Tra Travis Mayweather. And of course, with Trip, Trip Tucker, you know, they, they killed him off. In the final episode of Enterprise. And to be honest with you. I really want them to kind of bring in the Earth Romulan War. That is basically what was supposed to be for the fifth season of Star Trek Enterprise. Because the NX-01 Enterprise was supposed to have a major refit. And of course this is what the refit would have looked like. This little beauty. As you can see this is. It has a. As you can see it's literally a step up to the, Constitu the Constitution class. And I would absolutely love to have a film set on this version of the NX-01 Enterprise. And as you can see, they do call it SS Enterprise. So, yeah, I would really love that. I would love to see 
this Enterprise joined in the Earth Romulan War. I would love to see the Romulans fight against the crew of the NX-01 and have a bit of a film set in the war, which is something I absolutely love because we know the model exists because it's here. And the, I believe the model was actually, uh, I don't know if it was an Eagle Moss model or the one they made themselves, of the NX-01 refit in Star Trek Picard Season 3, where it's at the Fleet Museum and you just kind of see it facing that way. So yeah, I really would like to see in the prequel basically the return of the NX-01. Have the refit Enterprise to make people for it. It was not ever canon. I had seen arguments over the internet about this ship not being canon. And of course it appeared in Star Trek Picard. So I would love to see this ship in actual action on its own. Because I would love to have a Star Trek prequel to Star Trek 2009. Because if they were going to do... Because they are doing a prequel, it would make no sense considering that... Because of the timeline split when the Calvin gets destroyed, because there's two different timelines, we've got the Prime timeline, then of course we have the Calvin timeline, which basically just kind of swifts back into the Prime timeline, which was described in Star Trek Discovery Season 3. So I do kind of think, yeah, you know what, if they're going to do that when they discuss it, I would love to see a film, a prequel film, with the crew of the NX-01, Enterprise in the Earth and Roman War and basically redo the whole like the last half hour of the film you can actually have them forming the United Federation of Planets because we don't know if this film is going straight onto Paramount Plus we don't know if it's going into cinema or theatre or whatever you like to call it but for me to actually say as a Trekkie I kind of want this film to be the last hurrah for the crew of Star Trek Enterprise now all of the cast are still alive for it, you know, it's not like the original series where half of the cast are dead or Deep Space Nine because Nog and Odo are pass passed away. But I would love to see a film with the nx one crew, the Enterprise, have Scott Bucket return as Captain Archer and have him... Because I never really liked the ending to Star Trek Enterprise because of it being the whole holodeck program, which kind of makes me think is all of Enterprise just a holodeck for Commander Riker in the Star Trek TNG episode Pegasus because it is literally a connection to the to that episode so I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a good hurrah for the crew of the NX-01 because for a prequel I just don't know where they are going to what they're going to do with this I mean it was only announced on Saturday and literally they said oh it's going to come out next year uh that gives them less time to film it, you know, if it's coming out next year. We don't know if it's coming out in the spring. We don't know if it's coming out in the summer. We don't know if it's coming out in the autumn or the winter. But to be honest with you, I kind of want this film just to be like a last hurrah for the crew of the NX-01 Enterprise. Because I don't like the way how Enterprise ended. I really think they should have... Like, I know they're in the middle of filming and they had the final scripts. I really think they should have scrapped whatever they had planned and make a final final episode of, of enterprise instead of the holodeck episode that that's called these are the voyages as much as i would like to say i would love to see this ship get the proper proper live action treatment with scott bucket in command you know and playing captain archer once again and have a fifth a kind of a fantastic finale to Star Trek Enterprise. I mean, even f if they can even get rid of the song um, Faith of the Heart, even though much as I enjoy it, I don't think people want to sit there through a film and listen to Faith of the Heart play in the beginning of it. But I kind of want them to do a film with the NX-01 Enterprise refit because it would just absolutely be amazing and perfect. So what do you think of this Star Trek news? Do you hope, like I do, that we are going to get a prequel to... Well, we're going to get a film for Star Trek Enterprise. Do you think, how do you feel about Lower, Lower Decks ending with its fifth season? And are you as excited as I am about the fourth season that we're going to be getting to Star Trek Strange New Worlds? Let me know in the comments. Please do like, subscribe and share and join for more awesome Star Trek content. And live long and prosper.